This is the parasite apocalypse. And these are the parasites. Every single day, parasites will spawn and they will infect everything they can. My name is Minecraft Sneef, and I will survive 100 days in the parasite apocalypse. Welcome to Minecraft Hardcore. Day one. I'll be honest, the biome we started in was complete f***ing trash. But I did manage to find a Canadian goose, so that was interesting. There's actually a bunch of interesting mobs in this mod pack. There's a duck, there's a moose. I mean, who would want for more? But of course, with such beautiful landscape around, plentiful food, where did I choose to set up my first base? The desert, of course. Sometimes, my genius, it... It's truly frightening. But I did manage to find these dog-like things here. So I'm hoping we can uh, figure out how to tame them and get a couple of good boys on our side. But that will have to wait, because night time's approaching and I cannot be outside when it's dark. So I rushed myself a rudimentary cabin, closed myself off, and waited until morning. On day two, we went out looking for supplies, but unfortunately, a bunch of spiders turned up and tried to grief me, so I had to give them the business. Iridosophytus. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> almost too easy. The rest of the day wasn't very exciting. Went to the swamp nearby and got some wood. From the spider encounter, we managed to get three pieces of string. So on day three, I crafted myself two new weapons from the mod pack. A rapier and a glaive. I then went outside and was attacked by a redditor. I mean, a, a, a zombie. Thankfully, redditors burn in sunlight, so I didn't really have to do much. While chasing dinner, I found a mysterious purple pool, which I of course leapt in, and uh, it turned out it was poison. Remember at the start when there uh, was all those animals around? Well, guess how much food I have. There it is, it's, it's all my food. With my heart threatening to jump out of my chest, I ran home and cooked the rabbit. Not a lot of wiggle room in the old health bar down there. My near-death encounter encouraged me to go and find some more food. So I went back to the swamp, which kills my frame rate. Are you enjoying these frames? Look at them. There's got to be like eight frames a minute out here. After leaving what I'm now calling frame rate forest, I decided to get started on a mine, because I desperately need to get some iron tools before the parasites show up. Unfortunately, while mining for the rest of the day, we didn't find any iron, so I went home. At the start of day four, there were a lot of zombies outside the house. So I got to test out the new stone weapons. Give me your knees. <laughs> the glaive hits other enemies nearby with a wider arc, like that. While the rapier does double damage if they're not wearing armor. After the zombies, I wanted to check out that pyramid. With my base being right next to it, I had to see what was inside. But after finding the central chamber, I realized I'm not, not really equipped for this, am I? <laughs> so, I engaged pro gamer mode, mined the spawner from a safe distance, and then just whacked them when they walked past. <laughs> After killing a few of them, I went back to the base and actually started on a little mine in the house. Because that's a good idea. And definitely won't come bite me in the ass later. Mm. Overnight, the zombies tried to break down my door, so I blocked it off. But that just gave me a good excuse to take some more kneecaps in the morning. I then found this guy taking a swim in the in the poison. Hey, I, I did that too. <laughs> Remember that? I then grabbed some more wood, ethically disposed of a few free-range birds, and then got myself some dirt. Because moving to the desert was a was a great idea, and I don't regret it at all. <laughs> and then I found some dogs. Do you do you want a bone, sir? Bone! Pity, my friend. After getting rejected, I decided it was time to work on the house. Because to be honest, looking at the house is making me feel things. Bad things. So I made a little extension and then closed off for the night. Unfortunately, during the night, they found me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, what the f is going Oh, God, it's coming. It's literally right outside the door. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to fight it. Oh, man, I'm not equipped for this. Wait, what? It's attacking a zombie. Oh, they're fighting it. What the hell are those?
they seem to have spawned some tentacle. And they killed it. Oh, thank god. Did I just get saved by zombies? The next day, I was very keen to go out and find myself some iron, or at least some protection. If they get inside next time, I, I'm not gonna last. <laughs> hey there, boy. Would you like to be my friend? Hey, we got him. I love when you tame them and they just. Bleh. Okay. Holy Jesus! Please protect me, doggo. Oh man, he does damage. Oh, I see. Eat, my friend, eat. Got ourselves a heckin' good boy right here. Barf. Then we managed to come across a village. And inside the village was a man that buys paper. Very good, very good. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have any unwanted children, would you? After talking to that man briefly about the benefits of uh, loose labor laws, I was finally able to go to sleep for the first time since starting. There wasn't much else in that village besides the paper salesman, which if you think about it, it's quite a fragile business model. What the hell am I talking about? Anyway, at least the house is looking a little better. These wooden struts here look pretty sexy, not gonna lie. So we spent the rest of the day improving the house. It's starting to actually look like a home now, instead of an apartment in New York City. Only $3.99 per week. What a steal. The next day we went back to the pyramid, because last time, although I did some good work, I did manage to forget to loot the bloody chest. So, this is what we're gonna find today. And what is my reward for risking my life? We will never speak of this again. Feeling a bit ripped off, I decided I would take my reward from the building itself, and I would build a new base. Better, stronger, made from sandstone. So that's exactly what I did. Spend the rest of the day, and the next day actually, replacing wood with sandstone, and building up a base that I could actually be proud of. Sort of, it's, it's getting there. Day 10, we're feeling good. Laid myself some dirt here, just to we can get a farm going. Made myself a couple of bits of iron armor, and then spent the rest of the day in the mine. We're looking for diamonds, because we want to make an enchanting table and get the flame enchantment. Parasites are weak to flame, and as they get stronger, they're going to be harder to fight back. Day 11, we're still in the mine, and we found... Clay! Hooray! By the way, if anyone actually knows a use for clay, pl please tell me. In the morning, there was a flying parasite outside. These dropped the little infected ones, so we're going to need to hurry up and get some supplies before we get overrun. The next two days, we unfortunately did not find any diamonds. On day 14, we were griefed by a creeper. On guard, you green b Meanwhile, Doggo is being a useless furball. By the way, we need to come up with a name for him. If you can think of anything, let me know. Afterwards, we built a small bridge over the frame rate forest. When you live in the desert, you gotta scavenge from other biomes just to survive. Some might say move. To you, I say, no. This encounter here made me come to the realization that the parasites are getting bigger. Day 15, there was a witch outside my house and she was driving me insane with her cackling. Stop it. Stop it. Then we went back to the mine and we found... The power of friendship, I mean diamonds. We got the diamonds. Mm. All we need now is some obsidian and a book. So the next day I got some sugar cane, planted it and went out in search of love. I mean lava. There is only one good thing about living in the desert and that's above ground lava sources are not super rare. Well that, and you get a healthy dose of vitamin D. Before heading back, I decided to do a little science experiment. I wanted to know what happened when you mix poison with lava. The answer is mud. Oh. Warning, the clip you're about to see is of an extremely dumb adult human male attempting to figure out how to get obsidian from lava. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so what do we get? Obsidian? Done. So. Well, may as well go get some more lava. I've heard if you place two blocks of lava in a diagonal pattern, you can get unlimited lava. Well, that didn't work. Maybe it needs all four squares to be filled. There's number three, and now number four. All right, unlimited lava. I figured it out. I didn't even know why I was trying to get unlimited lava. I got enough obsidian for the enchanting table and a nether portal, because although it's risky, the nether does contain many rewards, so I might go there at some point. The rest of the day, I spent building a second floor for the house.
and the next day I built a fence. Day 20, we found some cows and began the arduous journey of bringing them back to the base. I only managed to get two in the end, but that's exactly what we need. Now breed, breed. <laughs> Spent the rest of the day putting some artistic touches on the house and finished off the upstairs on day 21. I'm really starting to get proud of this place. While I was exploring that day, I came across a grave. Probably some poor soul who hadn't made it this far. It is hard living out here. I shouldn't pretend it's easy. But on the other hand, what if he was buried with something? Am I really gonna defile this grave for money? Of course I am! <laughs> Inside the grave was just a lot of bones, but that gave me a very important idea. You see, bones make bone meal. Bone meal makes plants grow. So with these two ideas, we can make an automated sugarcane farm. But there's just one problem. For the automated farm, you need an observer. And an observer requires nether quartz. So that decides it. We are indeed going to the nether. Before that, we're going to need uh, a couple of upgrades. Number one being we need to get a bow. Because ghasts. I hate these things. And number two, we need to get a full set of iron armor. It's, it, it's day 21. Why? On day 22, I upgraded my sword and decided to get rid of some parasites. I had to be careful though, these guys can infect me. <laughs> Outplayed, nerd. Oh crap! Okay, so they can climb fences. That's good to know. That encounter, plus the completion of my nether portal, has led me to decide that I really need a bow. And it might be time to do some more risky things to get one. I decided that by day 25, if I still don't have the string for a bow, I will go out during the night and find one. So on day 23, I spent some time around my automated sugarcane farm, found some iron, and made an iron helmet. How are you doing, boy? Barf. By day 25, I still hadn't found that string. I went to Framerate Forest to see if I could find a spider, but unfortunately, when I didn't find one, I simply did some farming, worked on my sugarcane farm, and then got ready for the night ahead. Well, there's another dropper outside. And, yeah, looks like it's gonna infect a bunch of zombies. Just perfect. Okay, let's go. No, no, no. Back indoors. Okay, he's distracted. Whoa, careful, doggo. Well, there's one down. Die, die, just die. We've got to leave the fence. We've got to find a skeleton or a spider. If I don't kill you, you'll just surround me. Ah, oh, what the f I guess they're aggressive at night. Oh, shit, there's an infected. Okay, I just gotta fight him. Shield, shield. Oh, shield bash. Forgot about that. Through the fence, through the fence. Close, close. Oh, thank God. Oh, we got it. More infected just spawned. Okay. So there's a spider over there. And there's a skeleton over there if the spider doesn't work out. Oh, okay. Calm down. Just calm down. Creepers. Zombies. Infected. We fine. One at a time. One at a time. Die, spider. Give me a string. Oh, thank God. Gotta get back. Here's a sword. Oh, okay. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay. Got a shield. Oh, I hit the dog. Nope. 
don't cut the dog. Oh, arrows. Brilliant, they'll come in handy. Inside, back inside. Do I have any food? No, oh, he's on the health. I don't want to go back. Okay, we're just gonna go around. There's a lot of zombies. Oh, the dropper. Oh, sh open, open, close. Okay, he's got the door. Are oh, they gonna bash it in? Gotta block it. Oh, shit, the dropper exploded. What is this? The poison? Okay, it seems like they stopped fighting. I'm guessing that means the effect is the death. There's a lot of zombies. I do kind of want the XP though. Oh, it's morning. I was out there all night. <sighs> okay. We did it. We got the string. We survived. On a hardcore server. I love the reach on this thing. That's right. Stay over there in Canada and get whacked. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go indoors. Well, I made it. Due to the success of Night 25, I decided to explore a ravine that I had found within the mine, which is within my house. In the mine, we didn't find too much, but we did find lapis. So the enchantment table I placed a couple days ago can be used as soon as we have enough paper. I also found more rubies, which I really don't know the use for. Killed a creeper and was attacked by a flying parasite. So I decided to head back up and make my bow. And the next day, we headed towards our nether portal. It was time to leave this realm. Though many dangers await us inside. I feel like we've made enough progress. Both. This journey is far from over. And many challenges await us. The Nether. Why are we here? Nether Quartz. Why do we need Nether Quartz? I don't know. We, we just do, okay? Your boy be looking fine. Now the Nether Quartz is for a observer, so we can get some automated redstone going. Big brain moves, my friends. Big brain moves. We got super lucky with our Nether Portal, and guess what this is? That's, that's a f***ing blaze. Just gonna take care of this yellow son of a bitch. Anyway, as I was saying, that is a nether fortress. Can you believe it? My god, I'm under attack. Sir, I'm trying to narrate here, and now he's not attacking me. But make up your mind. <laughs> I mean, come on. What the f***? That's it. You're going in the ground. And your brother, too. Nope. Nope, stop. That song is copyrighted. Nope. Trying to get my video claimed. And you! Stop it. I actually quite like quartz as a building material, so I decided to collect a little more than I needed. Plus XP. Actually, I think this is quite a good source of XP. So are creepers. Hey. Kind of nuts that we found a fortress at the spawn. I was hoping that we could uh, make some potions and stuff. So, finding this was good, you know? Pretty happy. But the zombies were just relentless, man. Dropping down. You damn spider zombies. Where is he? Th there he is. It's time for death. There you go. So what do we have inside? Blazes and withers. Okay. I mean, it's good because sometimes you can get empty nether fortresses. Danger is actually good in this sense. Entrance is over on this side, right by the portal. That's probably how we'll get in, but not but not now. <laughs> we'll have to wait. Wait until we got a, a couple more pieces of gear before that. I decided to have a look around before I went inside, and uh, found this guy. Oh, he's gonna get me. No, 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 no. Inside, inside. I'm caught in the web. Ah! No, no, no. Uh, close the door. Okay, strategies. Pro gamer. Outplayed nerd. How could you possibly win against this man, sirs? I'm gonna politely ask you to get off my property. Nope, nope. Stop trying to eat my brains. 
You'll starve. Anyway, sleeping time. Day 28, we did some farming. Mm -hmm. Then we fed the mobile steak supply, collected some of these tall boys here, and then got thinking about how we're going to build this observer thing. I'll be honest, I'm not the best when it comes to these kind of things, as we'll soon see. Just as I was about to get started, we heard this sound. Now what that sound is, is one of these little tree guys. If you remember that from the last episode. And they spawn other parasites, so I'm pretty keen to not have them around my base. I had a quick look around, but couldn't see him, so. God damn it. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. And place. Nope, place. Nope, place, 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 there, there we go. 10% of the time, it works 100% of the time. Science. Day 29, I'm still trying to figure out how to do the automated redstone. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not very good at redstone, as you can probably tell. Very striking when you sit as close as this to see how similar they are to human beings. You know, it just occurred to me, if, if I grow, like, literally one thing of sugarcane, it will still take forever to get, like, any significant amount. So we're going with two, and there we've just doubled our output, boys. We are engineers. Here we go. And it works! Oh, uh, no it doesn't. Why am I so bad at this? It seems like some went down the hopper. Oh yeah. <laughs> Day 30. Harvest the grass. Feed the cows and then continue the harvest of the pyramid. You know, I took care of the pyramid. <laughs> it's rightfully mine. I could build a base inside of it, but instead I will build a base from it. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, the current plan is to replace as much of this disgusting dried sand with sandstone as possible, including on my little machine here, which is probably making redstone engineers think bad thoughts. We decided to build some more stuff on the house because bigger is indeed better. I also really need to cover up this wiring from my redstone because it, it looks awful and exposed wiring is always a good thing. a balcony up here. Could be an idea. I don't know. I, my building is always... Anyway, let's see what enchants we got. Efficiency 1. Efficiency 1. And efficiency 1. Wow. The choices. Man. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough one. Alrighty, let's just close this off. Pretend it never happened. Nice. Next, we replace this entire floor with sandstone. Getting real creative with my building materials, aren't I? Eh, I think it looks good. Be gone. What do we think? Yeah? Nah? Yeah? Yeah, nah? Our next goal is making an anvil, so we can do some repairs on our tools. But holy balls! How, mi how, how much iron? All of it? Okay, fine. In the morning, we fed the cows, built a new line for the sugar cane, and then started digging for diamonds. What did we find? Did we find some? No. Here's a pro gamer tip. Always fill the holes you make. That way, goblins and ghouls can't sneak up on you and take what isn't theirs. You know what isn't mine? Diamonds. Feed cows. Feed. Oh, I take it back. Yay. I kept looking for diamonds, but we ran into a problem. I only like going north. I don't really like going left or right. And to the north, it's just loads of spaghetti. But then I came up with a genius plan. I made a little depository and then gradually just grabbed it and put it down there. Put the lava down here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, apple time, apple time. Here we go. Uh, now I'm just burning and healing. I decided to continue, but this time carefully. 
on the next day, we gathered our sugar cane, and then I tried to make a golden apple, but I, I didn't have enough gold. So we went back to the mine, this time with a bucket of water. Oh yeah, it's satisfying. Then we found some gold. So golden apples are on the menu once again. After getting up from the mine, I had another idea for another automated machine. This one hopefully better than, than the last. The machine is going to be an automated forger, but I don't know how to make it. Hang on, I'll be right back. I placed the forge in the wrong place. There we go. And now we need chests and hoppers, I think. No, not these kind of hoppers, but we do need wood. I'm going to go back inside now. Ho ho ho, a new challenger approaches. You are ugly, sir. I wish you death. Here you go. Disgusting. So, what do we think of my automatic forger? Basically, you put the stuff in there, gets cooked up nice and good, and comes out here. Nice. Then I murdered a bunch of plants because I didn't like it. Oh my god, no. Uh, I am so sorry, doggo. I decided to place all this dirt down to see if we could get some natural trees growing because we're hurting for wood. Doc is just sitting in the, in the ground. Plant one tree here and one here. Call me Mr. Beast too. Cows! This episode I've really tried to show you just how terrible I am at redstone. Okay, so the bone meal makes the tree grow, but if you put the bone meal in the dispenser, it does not. F***ing why? It says on the Minecraft wiki it should work. Maybe it needs to be repeating. There we go. No, it, I got it working. Do not ask me how long it took, but still no worky. I feel like this stuff is meant for greater minds. Let's try it with a crop. And it works with a crop. I... I just... Eh? You are in the wrong pen. I'm afraid that means... Anyway, so we're gonna go sell this paper. Because emeralds? And then maybe even enchanted book? Who knows? So we headed out and had a, a hearty breakfast of delicious, delicious carrots. Just in case you're wondering, we found this village and we found this guy who buys paper at a price. I'm gonna name him Mr. Paper Person. Oh, Mr. Peepee, comedy. On the way back to the village though, I found this house. So I decided to have a look inside, just in case there were any goodies. I was a little scared of parasites though, but it was fine. We didn't find much. Some enchanted leather stuff and uh, a couple of books. Disgusting. Books are good though, I need them for my enchanting table. Oh god, now he's back. Dude, stop it! You'll get the video claimed! Jesus! Hello! Would you like to be my friend too? I've got a bone. Okay, maybe a berry. Ah, Jesus! Fuck's up! Ah! Oh, my heart! Ah, oh, it hurts! Ah! Oh, Jesus! We made it just before nightfall. But I did forget to bring a bed, so we're gonna have to find somewhere to sleep. Hello. Are you still buying paper? Hey, it's better price than it was last time. So we just drag that here, grab an emerald, drag that there. Respiration? Do I look like a fisherman to you? I'll have you know the only thing I fish for is likes or subscribers. I thought these guys look pretty cozy inside the house. I'm sure they wouldn't mind another visitor. So I let myself in and prepared to sit out the night. There was one thing I hadn't considered. It's been a long time since I haven't slept the night. And I... I had forgotten exactly how dangerous nights can be. But when the mobs started to spawn, I realized the mistake that I've made. Oh god, they're gonna break down the door. They're gonna kill everyone in the village.
Never expose the need. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't think about this. It's all that flying guy's fault. If it wasn't for him, I could have left and killed the zombies with my sword. Uh, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Die, 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 die. No, no, no. So he's right on top of me, but I have an idea. We'll dig through this. He should be. Yeah. How about you, sir? You killed my friend. That's what you get. Well, we survived the night. I'll take the books as my reward. Knowledge. Do you have anything good? Huh? No. Uh. Don't you realize that I saved you? I mean, I caused it, but... Did it, Patrick! We saved the city! Just think what might have happened if we didn't tell everyone about the... Iridocyclitis. Fine, I'll uh. just take some more emeralds. And good day, sir. I said good day, sir. Uh. And so I headed home. Albeit quite a lot sadder. <laughs> when I arrived. The next day, we took care of a zombie. Doggo would have wanted us to continue. So now, we're doing it for him. And hey, maybe we'll find another companion. But not right now. Right now, we'll do some building. Day 39, I wanted to see if I could make a new friend, but he wasn't interested in chicken drumsticks. You aren't supposed to be here. And you're supposed to be in your pen. Damn cows. So stupid. What? Get off my property! That damn gong sound again. I swear there's someone trolling me at this point. The reason we're dropping trees is we want to finish off the enchanting table. And, uh... I kind of messed up the configuration before, so we need more oak for the bookcases. And there we go! Do we have more than just efficiency this time? Yeah. We spend the rest of the day in the mine, trying to avoid more hot spaghetti. Don't want to end up deep fried like last time. And we managed to find some more diamonds! Woohoo! This farm is annoying me though. Disgusting. It needs to be automated. So we raise the earth and then set about building a automated well slash farm thing. Water in here and then it kind of clears the crops for you. I'll show you how it works. You see, so the water comes down 
and then it clears all the crops. Knock these out of the way. And uh, so I'll clear up this space as well and plant crops down here. And oh, I just destroyed all my wiring. Why am I so stupid? You know, around about this part in the video in episode one, I did a little musical montage. So let's do that again. On day 46, we were under attack by this little square. I hate you, little square. I spent literally an hour going through every option available before finding I pressed K. My brain don't work good. Anyway, so we're still trying to get the flame enchantment so we can roast up those parasites nice and good. Oh, and we encountered the pickaxe and shovel. But look at this. Ooh, ooh, nice. And shovel. Mmm. Nice. Decided to start rearing some chickens. Just as an alternate food supply. I don't know if it's living in the desert, but the crops take ages to grow. But on day 48, I made myself a helmet and some trousers. Ooh, yeah, look at this boy. I also had a look at what kind of mod weapons are available, and I like the look of this. So, we have an opening available for you. You could be my friend, or not. It's fine. So we took care of some zombies. And then, on day 49, we had a problem. What the hell is that noise? Oh my god, no. So the second I woke up that day, a creature had climbed the fence and gotten into the cow pen and began transforming every single one of the cows. By the time I noticed what the noise was, every cow was infected. And there was nothing I could do except get rid of them before they mutate. But as an added bonus, when you kill them, they drop these little leech things. And, well, you can see what happened next. Last one. Okay. Oh, there's a double. Oh, and another one. Okay. No, 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 no. Die. They're fast, but they're not strong. Uh -oh. I think very soon we're gonna have a big problem on our hands. I'm thinking range is gonna be the smart idea here. Have at you, sir. Oh lord, he coming. I'm gonna pull the old get in the doorway trick. <laughs> A played nerd. Yeah! Yeah! Bravery is good news. However, I still gotta take care of these bloody guys. Oh, there's a lot of them now. Why, hello, can I help you? I helped. Oh, Jesus! Uh, I was gonna say I helped you with death. How are you, Norman? It's time to die. There we go. At least they aren't hurting the chickens. Nanny, a new challenger. One, two, two. <laughs> wouldn't die. Let's see if we can gingerly persuade a few more. Okay, that's, that's, that's enough. Enough, enough, enough. No, 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 no. Oh my health. Oh, there's so many. Oh man, die. Oh my health. Oh no, oh no, no. Be God, evil tree. Okay, inside. Inside, inside. Don't go outdoors. There's nothing for you out there. Okay, that's enough being stupid for one day. I built this boat for a reason, now I'm gonna use it. Die. Okay, there we go, all taken care of. Jesus, I two and a half hearts. Not good, not good. Honestly, I'm really glad that these chickens either can't get infected or just didn't. It means that I've got at least one food supply left. On day 50, we didn't do anything in the base, we just went exploring. I want to find myself a wolf companion, because you can get wolf armor in this game. I miss Doggo, 
but being by myself is just risky. There are too many times I've been snuck up on. The woods provide me with ample shade and time enough to try and find a few animals. Remember, we're looking for a wolf, a companion to help us through these dark times. I spent the past few days exploring, trying to find a sufficiently good biome to perhaps find some wolves. But I didn't find any so far. But the more animals I see, the more hopeful I get. I will eventually find one. Hmm, hello. These look like wolves. I mean, they're not the default Minecraft wolves, but they look like wolves. Are you a wolf, sir? Would you like a bone? No? Okay, no need to be rude. Maybe they changed the taming thing? Chicken? Chicken, sir, hello? Here you go. Woo! We've got another friend. Better than 1.14. What is that? What, what does it mean? Twerk if you're confused as well. Well, sir, I have wolf armor for you. I don't know if you're a wolf, but please take it. No? No inventory. Could just make him twerk a lot. Would, how do you... Do I, do I throw it at you? Wear it! Don't give me that face. After doing some mining, I was getting a little hungry. And unfortunately for our pig friend here, he's made of food. I will take your giblets with glee. All that pig genocide was making me a little tired, so I found myself a nice cozy tower to stay the night in. While I was there, I could hear one of those flying parasites. But I thought, hey, that sounds like a problem for tomorrow me. As the sun rose, I climbed to the top of the tower to see if I could find that flying guy. But he's he's f***ed off, apparently. Yeah. In the morning, I looked through the achievements to try and find that better than 1.14 achievement. And I found it. There it is. Tamer Fox. Oh, so he's a fox. Oh, I thought, okay. What's this? Evil Ritual. Use the hand of fate to spawn a Hirschgeist. Growth of soul sand remains for deer. Summon the Hirschgeist from its world. Where? <laughs> for some reason, in this biome, boars are very common. And they're freaking me out, man. I, little known fact, in my first attempt at this 100 days playthrough, I was killed by a boar on day three. So, uh, I have a personal, what, what is this? Did you? I hate boars with every fiber of my being. My computer started wheezing its death throes for some reason. I mean, look at these frames. Luckily, I brought a map, which is very informative. Please, stop. Ah, the frames! Ah! Ah! Oh man, oh, I hit the spider. Ah! Ah! The leeches! Okay, get him. One, two. Oh, this guy. Get him. Oh god damn it, I killed my friend again. Okay, this guy's gotta be a wolf. Are you a wolf, sir? Bone. And tame! As the sun set, I built myself a tiny cabin. I awoke on a calm morning, but it was not to remain so. In the distance, I spied a mob spawner. Taking it out would require bravery and precision. <coughs> These skulls are nice though. They protect me from mobs and I can use this one to summon the wither at some point. Hmm. Now let's see if the map's changed at all. Fine then, I'll use my imagination. Next, I thought, let's take to the sea. She calls me boys. The open ocean, the vastness of blue and magnificence. In all seriousness, the reason I took to the sea was I can, I can see the land and I can speedily assess what lives there. You know, I just realized, my character kind of looks like a tomato. All right, this looks as good as place as any to beach. Ooh, as you can see, the, the little dot there has moved. Ooh, a crab. Hello, I like money. After I got on the boat, I got lost. So I'm hoping if I keep heading east, there we go, and we're home. 
I think I mentioned this last time, but I really like the look of this crossbow. Ooh. And I have all of the materials, I believe. Let me just chuck it together here. All right, diamonds on the side, string, bow, and no, that's not right. Handle there, wood there. D wait, why? All right, let's try repairing the bow. Maybe that was the problem. How do you repair a bow? Is it wood? It's not wood. You know, someone commented calling this guy an abomination. It's not an abomination. This is an abomination. But anyway, we managed to get our crossbow built, and I'll go use that soon, but first I've got to show you this problem with my farm. So whenever I activate it, the seeds get pushed into these holes. So I'm trying to block them off with this fence here. But I'm not certain it's going to work, to be honest. This is kind of an improvised solution at best. Did I tell you I've been abusing chickens? Just tossing their unborn brethren at a brick wall. Anyway, let's go find another companion. This time we're going off in this direction. It's a swamp, so it's unlikely we'll find a wolf, but you never know. I'll admit, I dread the day I break down my safety cabin and there's just like a monster outside. I'm going home. I'm going home. I think it can be safely said, I far prefer fighting enemies like this. You know, when they come to the But I thought it was time to upgrade some of my weaponry. So I made myself another diamond rapier. We'll take that, thank you. And we even got the fire aspect in shot. Ooh, big damage. Yeah. I then climbed to the top of the house to see if I could test my new weapon on anyone. But there were no takers. Later that day I decided to leave the home so we can fill out the map a little bit more. Get a better understanding of our surroundings. Man, we're a ways away from home now. I'm gonna check the map. And apparently I've drawn a penis. Oh hey look, it's a goose. Oh, I also learned that these guys have chicken nuggets inside of them. Mmm, delicious. I managed to figure out this zoom feature. Press C on the keyboard. Very nice. Look at this Enderman over here. Hello, my friend. He's just having a seizure. <laughs> this man has problems. Be gone. <laughs> <Who's there? laughs> He's burning over there. He doesn't know what to do. It's like all over the place. Yeah. No. Oh, jeez. Cringe. I decided to test my new sword on some zombies, and oh, the fire is nice. Huzzah! Oh jeez, I'm on fire. Pull the old Uno reverse card on me. The next day I got to see if my fence had fixed my problem. And it had not. At all. Well. So I gradually tore up all the fencing and then replaced it with some sandstone slabs. I'm hoping that this will indeed do the job. On day 58 I headed down into the mine because I wanted to find some diamonds. I did manage to find some. But then I got a visit from our old friend. Now we've seen him a couple times, so I'm gonna give him a name. It has to be a good name though. Let's see, legs plus tall. It's good, his name's Marvin. Do you like that name, Marvin? It's good to see you again, oh dear. Marvin, I can only apologize. Marvin seems to be giving us the cold shoulder now, I'm sorry. Oh dear. He's just sleeping. In all seriousness, no, Marvin actually scared the hell out of me, so I'm gonna light up this cavern before it happens again. To be honest, day 58 was an odd day. I found a nether fortress in the overworld, underground, because that's normal. I figured it must be one of the mods installed. I ain't going in there though, not even if you pay me. Is that me? I am feeling pretty hungry. I am loving this enchanted shovel so fast, Oof! but it's time to upgrade some gear. First we want our special ed helmet, and then get us some Yeezys. We got them fresh Jordans. Enchant those bad boys. Be gone. The farm is working perfectly. My friends, my engineering has peaked. The next job is going to be getting rid of all this disgusting uh, turd sand. You don't belong here, turd sand. Oh, oh, a witch. I hate witches. I'm going to take them out. Blah. I then took care of some pests around the home. Oh, my sword ran out. Excuse me, boys. There we go. Come on, Mr. Fox. You want to be my friend? Yeah. Good boy. And you could be my fourth friend. There we go. I then found Gustav. Gustav is going to be the progenitor to a sheep generation at the base. Oops. I then did some more exploring and 
dabbed on a boar, get wrecked kid, took care of some more zombonies, and thought about doing some more upstairs building. Hmm, let's go up here. Thinking maybe a skylight room? Hmm, maybe a study? What the? Did you see that? <laughs> Another one of those evil trees spawned nearby, so I decided to take it out using my pro-gamer skills. That is, I stood back and shot it from a distance. <laughs> Ooh. Give me them orbs. I hadn't really shown you guys this before, but I found this house recently. And there's a Fletcher here, who I get all of my arrows from. He's a very useful man. Thank you, Jeremy. I love you. Oh! <laughs> Jeremy actually lives with Susan, and Susan buys paper. I think Susan is Jeremy's wife, though I guess she could also be his sister. Or both, I guess. I then began the extremely painful process of bringing sheep back into the base. Painful because, for some reason, every so often they would just forget that they were following you. Like this. Why? And then it takes them like a few seconds to realize that they were following you at all. Uh? I hate them with every fiber of my being. But I will not let them get infected like the cow did, so... Yeah. On day 64, this guy showed up. He's adorable. I don't, I don't really know his name, but he's so cute. Look at him, he's purple. On day 65, I was keen to scout out that nether fortress a little. So I went into the nether, killed a couple of green boys, and uh, mined some quartz for XP. But this is the main reason I'm here. I want to think about getting in there somehow. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a bridge. I'm gonna make a little supportive wall here. The first few blocks are gonna be the most dangerous. But then, once we've got a little support wall, the rest shouldn't be too bad. Just mine away the side here for some more bricks. Cause I'm running out. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Go, go loads of golden apples. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, we, we gotta get to the bone. Come on, come on, come on, mine, mine. Get that, jump up, jump up, jump up! Okay, okay, we're getting pretty toasty here. I'm gonna eat another apple. Uh, okay, okay, we're healing. Oh, my god, how long do I burn for? I'm gonna eat the last apple. Nom, 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 nom. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I swear, this game is going to give me a heart attack. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Gonna do the old vertical bridge. Place down, mine up. Uh, my heart is still racing. Are there any skeletons? No. Oh, thank God. Let's fill that. Let's, let's fill that. Shelby, yeah. I need a, I need a break of some kind. Where are you out of your pet? I almost die, and you just. Go running straight away. Okay. I'm thinking it's time to let's let's relax for a bit. Let's do some building. I made this little quartz thing. I'm told it looks like trash, but let me know your opinion. But I spent the rest of day 65 just doing some housekeeping, you know? So we did a little bit of building, a little bit of Taking care of storage. Mined the pyramid for some more sandstone. Because it's, it's by far the most efficient way to get it. Pretty sure the pyramid's gonna be entirely gone soon. Though the sun beats down harsh on the desert, my work never stops. There are always alterations to be made to the house. You can always make it bigger. You can always make it better. We can always tear down and start again if need be. Oh, and by the way, I installed another mod recently. This mod is called a Replay Mod. And what it allows you to do is get some truly beautiful cinematic shots of your builds. Let me show you.
There we go. That should about do us for today. Just jump down here. This poor man's ankles are seriously. <laughs> every morning I break my legs, and every afternoon I break my arms. At night, I lie awake in agony until my heart attacks put me to sleep. Oh, no! No! Day 67, I thought it'd be a good idea if I took my crossbow for a test run. So let me show you what this baby can do. The hell is wrong with you? Why is he taking damage? What the hell is this? Hello? Oh, oh my god. Unpleasant sucking. Speak for yourself. It, <laughs> what is this? Get off! Get off! It's sucking my brains! It's draining me of my intelligence! Oh, it died. Poor little guy starved to death. Hey, this guy's new. I haven't seen one of him before. Let's go over and say hi. Hello there, neighbor! <laughs> oh, I love the way that he walks. <laughs> what is that? I managed to find another one of the flying dudes, but I could take him out with the crossbow. I'm starting to really love this crossbow. Almost as much as I hate these spiders. Yeah. I hate them. Yay, it's time to die! On day 68, I decided it was time to enchant my special ed helmet. Unbreaking 3. Oh. Why do you test me, Lord? Anyway, now we need to go to the mine to get some more gold for golden apples. This isn't gold! I decided to explore the caves to see if I could find any gold on the surfaces. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Alright, that's enough conversation for one day. Deeper in the cave, we did find some gold on the surface. Which is awesome, because I can't get enough of these apples. Oh, and some more useless diamonds. Day 69! Nice. I took the day off, but at night, I got myself into a bit of trouble. Just with this tall fellow over here. Uh oh. That's the first mob that this crossbow hasn't one shot. I think I might go inside. I'm fairly certain he's right behind me. I can't be sure, and I'm too afraid to turn around right now. But, uh, we'll find out soon enough. Oh god, yep, he's right behind me. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, Jesus, he does so much damage. Inside. Why? I'm always getting in trouble like this. I need to stop. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Okay. Okay, he's right outside. Let's use some pro strats. We're gonna go upstairs and then grief him from above. Get shit on, kid. Blip. No, shit. No. What is this? Okay. <laughs> Damn drop spiders. Oh, I think Doggo 2 is taking care of him. Here is your reward. The flesh of your vanquished enemy. The next day I did some more XP farming because I want to enchant my gear a little bit more just in case I run into another one of those tall dudes. Because he hits pretty hard. I mean, I had full diamond armor and he was doing two and a half hearts per hit. That is what we call unbalanced. Are you okay? But I think part of the problem was I didn't even have protection on my chest piece. There we go. And a couple more golden apples would be ideal, just in case. Now, unfortunately, this mod is on 1.12. So I don't know if you can farm villagers like you can in current day Minecraft. I'm gonna take this trusty pork chop and show this spider who's boss. Your webs have no power here, sir. On guard! Oh, okay. Maybe maybe the webs are actually a little powerful. At least these guys don't do any damage anymore. And I can just meme my way to victory here. Come over here. Oh, no. 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 Okay, he seems to have range on me. I can't actually hit him. Okay, let's take the long boy and try again. There we go. This mod pack does have its fair share of bizarre occurrences. Flying mobs seem to have problems. <laughs> there you go. And I, for some reason, keep on running into this guy. I think it's about time I give him a name. I'm gonna shoot him from a distance here. I'm gonna call him Mr. Fleeb. Hello there, Mr. Fleeb. It's too bad you had to take a nap just now. Ugh, it's this guy again. But I started to get a little tired on my way to the village, so I decided I would stay the night here. I mean, I, I mean manly sound, uh, or something. Uh, I definitely didn't just scream like a little girl. No witnesses. Oh, he's back again. Good morning. Oh, and it's Mr. Fleeb again. Man, they're, they're, those guys are everywhere. How many do you think there are? Ten. Cool. I then sold this guy my unpublished manga and hit it home. Almost got ambushed by another one of these dogs, but a uh, gun beats teeth. On day 73, when heading home, I ran into this guy. Remember before I mentioned that the flying mobs in this mod pack seem to have trouble? Yeah, this is a good example. He just floats there and can't seem to make any progress towards me. He's just kind of 
I'm just kind of stuck there. Before I got home, Doggo managed to jump back in the poison again. I don't know why he keeps doing that. And then on day 74, I ran into an entirely new species of parasite. I've never seen one of these guys before. Irregardless, it's nap time. And now I will show you Mr. Fleeb's special ability. <laughs> okay. okay, Mr. Fleeb. The reason I'm out here is because I wanted to go back to the village and uh, sell whatever I can for some emeralds. I love this man's house layout. He's just in the ground. Now let's check on this young man. See, book, sharpness five. Ooh. 43 emeralds. How about new? Communism is the way forward, boys. On day 75, we took care of the pests nearby and headed back to the base. I'm gonna go check out that nether fortress this time and uh, hopefully not burn myself alive again. Let's be careful here. Here we go. Should do the job just in case something hits me from up here. No, we'll be fine. Okay, and uh, another wall here. Hello? Is anyone there? Alright, okay, let's do this. Oh, there they are. Now we're gonna take our time here. I'm gonna place a barrier just in case they come running down. And always remember, children, no one can call you a coward if there are no witnesses. They seem to drop wither dust. And I have no idea what wither dust is. Help me out, comment section. But I made sure to block off as many pathways as I could, just in case things spawn behind me. And I made sure to dig the walls as I progressed through the dungeon for blocks to block off passages and also to know where I've been. Oof, whoever's down here has got pretty severe asthma. The dungeon itself was fraught with danger, but uh, by lighting my way, I knew where I was going. I have plenty of armor and uh, a strong crossbow to deal with any enemy, so I didn't have too much trouble. In the first chest, we managed to find a magenta room, which again, I have no idea what it does, and a saddle for the many horses that we've seen so far. And then in the second chest, we've got gold ingots, which is great for apples, and nether wart, which is awesome, because that means we can start making our own potions. Our asthmatic friend was uh, still nearby, but I decided that uh, I would exit through the roof rather than going all the way back out the dungeon. Uh, no, I don't want to buy your newsletter. I seem to have some trouble getting outwards. I don't know why. Do it stop. You could be in a bit of trouble there, friend. Just let me out of here. There we go. And we're out. Okay, nice. And we'll grab some of these rods. Uh, what do we get rid of? Chicken. Be gone. Okay. I decided to stick around a tad longer and uh, take care of a few more blazes, simply because. Money! I <laughs> also grab some more nether quartz for the XP. Hello there, my fiery friend. These alchemy supplies that we've gotten are gonna come in real handy. I'm planning on making some serious potions for the next episode. Yeah. Now, I haven't mentioned this yet. But I'm going to do something very special for the last episode. And it's almost certainly going to mean that I die. Meaning there was in fact a very good reason as to why I needed to get these alchemy supplies ready. I'll let you guys guess what that's going to be. But uh, I don't think anyone will guess it. The day is 75. We are trying to make some golden carrots. I learned how to make these from a Gordon Ramsay cookbook. What do you think, Gordon? Beautiful. I mean, really beautiful. Okay. The cheese is melted. Has it though, Gordon? Has it really? We started off by doing a bit of XP farming because I want to enchant some more books, hopefully get some uh, better enchants for our gear. I will smack you in the mouth. The other reason we're in the nether right now is because we're looking out for ghasts. Because, if you can collect ghast tears, you can make regeneration potions, which are really strong late game. On day 77, I went back into the nether fortress, because I need soul sand to grow some nether wart. Ah! A skeleton! Come over this way, sir, I've got a present for you. Yeah, good. He decided to leave. Let that be a lesson to you. Why do we need nether wart, you ask? Well, we need nether wart because we want to make some awkward potions, which we can then make into other potions. So we'll plant our soul sand down here like this. And then get attacked by a parasite dog, apparently. He's all toasty now. Day 78, I got up and uh, went, went up onto the balcony to just, you know, have a look over my land. And uh, hey, it's our friend again. 
big room over there. <laughs> so this has been my latest project. It's building this uh, brick tower thing. Oh, excuse me for one second. So, Sneeve, why are you building another base? You've already got one. First of all, how dare you talk to me? Second of all, the parasites are evolving. They're becoming far more dangerous. This and this are evolved forms of parasites. They're much more dangerous. And I don't know about you, but I'm not ready to invite this man in for a tea and a crumpet. Those parasites can break blocks, but they can't break stone blocks. So I'm building myself a nice defensive tower by which I, you know, can't be eaten. Cause that'd be nice. On day 80, the next step in our precautionary measures is building a iron golem. Here looks like a good spot. One, two, and then three and four. And then a pumpkin. Jump, pumpkin. Come on. There we go. And he's born! Welcome, George. Welcome to the- What are you doing? I... What? But why? Excuse me, what are you doing? That's how I roll. Okay, well, George is apparently being an overripe turd sandwich. But I mean, I guess that is like the fourth doggo to die, so I'm technically more guilty than George right now. <laughs> Our bee friend is back. Look at him over there. He looks like he's awkwardly trying to pluck up the courage to introduce himself. You like jazz? No, that's not good. I'm guessing this guy is an evolved form of the, the dog parasite. Hey, look up here. I've got a present for you. This stone brick idea is actually thanks to someone in the comments. They seem to be very knowledgeable about this parasite mod. And if it wasn't for them, I would probably have been eaten by now. So, thank you, comment section. Oh, there's a whole bunch of parasites here. Um... That's a problem for tomorrow, me. <laughs> Never deal with a problem today, you can't put off till tomorrow. I'm pretty sure it was Gandhi who said that. Uh oh, the other guy evolved. Ah, that's fine. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, um, let, let's kill them quickly before they break down. Here we go. My god, you completely destroyed my wall. That thing wasn't insured. Man, parasites these days, really no respect. All they do is on their cell phones. Oh, no, it's a flying Brussels sprout. It's time for you to go. Burn, burn, and you're gone. Very nice. No, boys, I'm not looking to buy some Girl Scout cookies. Yes, go and explode if you want, but I'm still not buying them. Ugh, there's another big one over there. It's a big problem. I'm just gonna grab these orbs and then go back inside. Day 83, we spent building our Tower of Greatness. But, uh, I ran into a problem. How do I get down? Wait, I have an idea. Hello, my friend. Alrighty, one last little window here, and we should be down on the ground floor. <laughs> oh my god! He scared the living bejesums out of me. Look at him. Take a carrot, sir. A carrot? What happened to my hot bar? It's all messed up. Um, take a hoe. Everybody needs a hoe. Come on. Let's, uh, let's try the smash the glass technique. Stop it. It's not working. Okay. Uh, tie the long boy. Okay, he's just running around. All right, let's try the, uh... Oh my god, it's Bob the Broccoli. <laughs> I hate broccoli. Look at this dude. <laughs> oh, where'd he go? Day 85. We've got a little more building to do today on the castle. And, uh, ooh. I'm gonna give this guy a name. Burb the Blurb. <laughs> what a name. I'm hoping to finish off these windows today. But, uh, I'm out of glass. Oh, and there's a big boy over there. In fact, he just approached the castle. Uh oh. He just broke downstairs. Is he inside? Oh no. There he is, over there, outside the window. Well, I guess we get to test whether or not they can break through these blocks. Because they could definitely break through the other ones. Oh, it's this guy again. Hi, how are you? <laughs> He's just spinning. He's a Beyblade. You ain't so tough. Well, I can take you down with my long boy here. Two, three. Okay. He's taking more hits than I thought he would. Four, five. <laughs> Those little grabby hands. Let me at you. Have you met my crossbow before? Oh. He didn't like him. Back to the grind. Day 86, we harvested some of our nether wart and then made myself a boomerang. Because I have a uh, an incendiary book which allows me to make it into a fire boomerang. Very nice. 
It's very cool, but I wonder how useful it actually is, because it can't go very far. Let's make some nuggies here. Mm, delicious. And get rid of the eggs. Blip, 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 blip. Okay, zombies, we can test out the boomerang. Boop. Okay, no, that wasn't that much damage. I think, I mean, the fire is nice. The damage isn't great. I'm, I'm not crazy about it, to be honest. Aww, boomerang! Time to feed the sheep. And we're back in the mine. We're trying to find more iron. Each iron block requires like 40 billion iron, so I have to find quite a lot of this stuff. I'm also holding out hope that the next iron golem we make isn't a soggy crumpet like George. Don't be like George, kids. No one likes George. Oh, oh, it's lava. <laughs> Fire hot. I tried swimming in lava before, but I'm not doing that again. I spent day 88 building the roof to my castle. I've got a few windows to fill in, but uh, should be almost done now. I spent day 89 collecting some sand for the windows for the castle. Since it's very difficult, I find personally, I mean, this is just my opinion, but it's quite hard to see through solid stone. Hmm, this guy needs a name. Let's see. How about Mr. Flappy Hands? I then collected some more nether wart. We're gonna be making some potions soon, I promise. But before I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna try and make the castle top. You know, like, uh, the things? Hello? Oh, there he is. Oh, he got me. Boomerang time. Okay, should be just about done. I think it worked out quite well. I think it looks good. Yeah. Day 90. Only 10 days to go. I made some iron blocks and then got started on a little DIY moat to build around the base. The Brussels sprout is back. <laughs> Burn, baby. I'm getting my uses out of this boomerang in the end. Hmm, that's a bit of a problem. What's the number I call when something like this infests in my home? 0800, help, I'm being eaten. Why won't you die? Two, three, four, four shots. Let's uh, not run into one of those in the wild, shall we? We got a couple of visitors outside. Beep. I'm gonna go say hi to our friends since we love them so much. Oh, no. Hey, buddy. At the start of day 91, I checked my enchants and ho ho ho, what do we got here? There's only one problem. I'm only level 25. That's bad. But that's not a problem, because our chickens have volunteered to give us some XP. Ada ada, another volunteer. I will take your orbs with glee, my friend. Now I am standing on the castle, because there's a small problem with being in my regular base. I have too many chickens, and the mobs won't spawn. But over here, well, the zombies are spawning again. So now I can just climb down and uh, give them a bit of a how's your mother. You guys aren't going to believe it, but basically these zombies just dropped their orbs and left. We're so close, but we just need one more level. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of these supplies, and then we're going to do some breeding. Man, I am some probably eldritch horror to these chickens. On the one hand, I slaughter them by the droves, and then on the other, I feed them and make them breed more. There's some stone in here. Hopefully this will give me the XP I need. Really? It Really? Oh wait, the other furnace. Hey, there we go. Okay, so flame, there we go. And now we go to the anvil, and we go enchantment, and there we go. Power four and flame. Nice. And now we farm. <laughs> so anticlimactic. Just gonna do a little bit more work on the moat, and then I'll go kill a zombie or something. Okay, any zombies around? There is not, but there is a one of these guys. He's doing his impression of a marshmallow. Burn, baby, burn. Hmm. If that had been a bigger one, I probably would have died. Hmm. Bedtime. Oh, hello, doggo. Nah. I think he wants to give a shout out to all the dog people out there. I am a wolf. So today, I'm going to be learning you some good vibes with the alchemy stuff. Well, what I just said had most of the elements of a sentence. But anyway, awkward potion plus redstone makes you a strength potion. So we made ourselves three of those just in case we need them. On day 93, we went back into the mine because I am painfully low on bolts and I need some more iron to build some more. Hey, I found a little cave. Hmm. I wonder if that. Ah, ah, oh, why? Why would you do this? I'm just a boy. Burn. Okay, wait, where'd he go? Oh, I think, I think the dog killed him. Good boy. After making our way back up to the surface, we made our bolts and then grabbed some lava to start with this little moat I've been doing. Oh, one second. There he goes. Another roasted marshmallow to add to the bonfire. Okay, we'll grab these orbs, place the hot stuff here, grab some more hot stuff, place it here. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Feels like there's another one of these guys. Boomerang time! <laughs> Look at him go. 
Yeah, this boomerang's pretty good, actually. Boomerang! So, I've got enough iron. But I, now I need pumpkins. I can't remember where I found the first one. So I'm going to make some speed potions. And that's how we're going to get to and from the village without being eaten by parasites. It's an eve. I don't know how to make a speed potion. Silence! The recipe is nether wart, then sugar to make swiftness, and then you add glowstone to make it a potion of swiftness too. Knowledge. Drink this bad boy, and then we're gonna get to the village. Dip, 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 dip. I need to be careful. I've got to take out these parasites on the way, otherwise they could transform. And uh... hey, it's bad <laughs> Uh He's the least threatening of all the parasites. I'm die, Bob. Oh God, no, 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 no. Oh jeez. Oh my God, he's so close. He's so close. A little bit further back. Why would you do this, Blurb? I liked you before. Yeah. Okay. My heart, man. I was racing so fast. Where be the pumpkins? I'm seeing plenty of crop, but no pumpkins. And ground, man. Pumpkins? No. Just very expensive compasses. Ugh. No pumpkins. Hello? A butcher. A butcher in a hole. I'm gonna take out these parasites. Coming a little too close for comfort. Okay, something just transformed. I am going to leave. Now, goodbye village. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, it's Mr. Fleeb. Very glad he did not transform. Oh, there's Marvin again. I'm gonna take him down from a distance. Oh no, <laughs> something just bit me on the butt. I'm being chased. Ah, uh, he's right behind me. No, yeah. Oh no, there's another one there. Okay, I'm gonna have to divert round. Okay, I'm very glad I put this door here. Come on, in, in, in. Oh, the door block. God damn it. Okay. Whew. Okay, we're inside. Just as he transformed, I think, as well. Yeah. Nim, 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 nim. Oh man, the fox is trapped outside. Excuse me, I'm trying to narrate. Please don't screech. I think he's gonna transform soon. Oh, yep, there he goes. He's trapped in the wall. Oh god. Um. Okay. Well, I'm very glad he's outside and I'm inside. Come on in, Foxo. And then if I move. Yeah! Boomerang strats. Okay. Let me grab this. Build the wall again. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. I'll just ignore him. I'm thinking maybe I should make some of these. I do have plenty of diamonds. Hmm. But for now, we're gonna go on another pumpkin run. For the last time, I hate Brussels sprouts. Hello there, Jeremy. How you doing, buddy? Alrighty then. That's Marvin. Be gone. Ooh, thanks for all the help out there, Susan. And Jeremy, disappointed in you. The least you could do is sell me some damn pumpkins. Fine. I'll be gone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a little tower here and then we can kind of look around, see if we can find any pumpkins. I'm not seeing any. Oh, but this guy's here. Time to die. All right, time to go back. Didn't find any. They gotta be somewhere. Jump, jump, jump. Yeah, we're almost home. It's Bird the Blurb. Kill him quickly. Not dealing with him uh, transforming again. Oh, hey, hi. And we're back. In we go. Do do Damn door! I spent the rest of the day preparing some alchemical supplies. And then on day 97, I made a whole bunch of potions. On day 98, we went on our final run looking for some uh, quality pumpkins, but uh, didn't manage to find any. Found a couple of brown uh, mushrooms. Oh my god, my dog's a wizard. Just before heading back, I ran into this guy sitting by himself. <laughs> I'm in danger! Have you ever had your heart broken by lack of pumpkins? Because that's what I'm experiencing right now. Oh look, Mr. Fleeb's here to give me a welcome home. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Fleeb. Remember, COVID distancing. Oh jeez, he's transformed. Um, oh, he's breaking the blocks. Okay, I'm going inside. Okay, I'm going upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. Come on, uh, climb, climb, where is he? Okay, there he is. Okay, oh, he's in the base, okay. Oh, he's, he, he's breaking the ground. Um, I don't know what to do. Okay, um, boomerang. Uh, man, I hope he can't break these blocks. Um, okay, here he goes. <sighs> he really broke my base up a lot. I'm gonna uh, repair this with some indestructible blocks. That sounds like a good idea. Well lads, it's day 99. Man, it's been a long journey. I've got one last thing planned. What we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the render distance here. Go back to the farm and recruit some more chicken volunteers. And then use those chicken volunteers to recruit some extra doggos. An army of dogs sounds fun. Let's do it. Good boy. And you? And you? We will conquer this land in the name of Doggo One. God, I'd miss him. It begins. Our warriors are ready. Come and take this fortress. Come.
come and get me. Oh no, what did he draw? Oh, they explode. Okay. Heal, dog. I will not let you die. Parasites are everywhere. That is way too close. Run. No! Get away! He hit the dog. We're going down. Reload, reload! Engulfed by plane, you will destroy it this day. Heal, doggo. You will not fall. Burn! Run, run, run! Burn it all! This is way too much damage. I'm taking an apple. No! This is it for you. Die. It's over. We won. The base took some heavy hits. It's, it's missing an entire war. That monster was destroyed. That was one of the final bosses for the Parasite mod. If you want to try out this mod, the mod is called Scrape and Run Parasites. Really fun mod. Loved making these videos for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.